Hey guys, Dean here. So in today's tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Vortex Mod Manager. This is if you want to install custom mods off the website nexusmods.com. This is their own software tool to install everything off their platform. So if you're playing a game like Skyrim Special Edition or Fallout 4 or a game like Vampire the Masquerade, anything where it uses custom mods and content, this is the way to install them through. So we're going to first go to the website nexusmods.com and we're going to go to their Vortex Mod Manager download page. You can see we can select which games we want to find mods for here in this menu and we can search for the latest trend in mods at the top in the bar. We can also browse collections of mods, media, go to the community at the top too. And also you can go to support and then there's the vortex help, documentation and the install button which leads us to this page that I'm showing you right now. Now I'm also going to link this at the top of the description down below so you can go directly to it if you scroll down below this video. And we just want to simply start with clicking download the latest version now. This will take you to a page which looks like a mod page but it's the official vortex download so just click on download manual and then it says that you will need .NET framework or the .NET runtime to run this it should come with windows by default so you won't need to install this manually unless you're on an older machine you shouldn't have to worry about it especially if you're on at least windows 10 or above but even if you're on like windows 7 or 8 it should still be okay because net 6.0 is very old click on download and now we can scroll down and to download you want to log in so first log into your account or click the big bright orange red register button in the top right so now when you've clicked manual download it should take you to a list where you can also download the old versions but you just want to go ahead and download the top of the main files which should be the latest version this is last updated on the 25th of september which was a few days ago last month click on download and then download again and it'll take you back to the manual download from before click on slow or if you have the premium version or if you subscribe to the nexus mods pro plan then you can download files faster and just save it to wherever your downloads folder is so now we're going to download Vortex. So just a little bit of context about Vortex before we begin. Vortex has multi-game support. It has mod support for over 30 different games on the Nexus Mods website. This includes things like Dark Souls, Fallout, Skyrim, The Witcher, and even games like Stardew Valley. This is probably the best mod manager available online. It's the best just because everyone uses this website and the fact that it hooks into their API and platform. And it just makes modding super easy. We can switch between a few different mod profiles. The UI is kind of basic to use, easy to understand and there's also some extensions and plugins for the software too. Now if you click on supported games it'll show you a huge list everything from seven days to die to Bloons Tower Defense, Conan Exiles, Mass Effect, Left 4 Dead, Starbound, Starfield, literally everything right so if you want to download mods this is the tool to use. There's also a help and support button too and this is a screenshot of how the UI interface looks very clean and modern. Okay so open up your folder you've downloaded it to and just double click on the Vortex installer and press run and and this is going to open up the Nexus Mods installer, obviously. And from here, you can select the install location. So I'm going to select the default in the C drive. I don't actually have that much space in the C drive, to be honest with you. But I'm just going to install it by default. I already have Vortex installed, but I haven't actually updated it for a very long time. So this is actually good for me to reinstall it and show you the process from start to finish. Keep run Vortex ticked press finish and this will now boot up the software okay so we're now in vortex so this says i've been logged out so i need to log back into my account that's only if you downloaded the software before so i'm just going to log in i'm already logged into the nexus mods website so all i have to do is press authorize and then it's authenticated with my nexus mods account so just click log into vortex and it'll sync with our profile so now this is what vortex looks like so there is a get started guide it shows you how to manage your game how to log in install tools and download mods there's an announcement section another list of tutorials it shows you where the mods are and the downloads are on your drive so you can click on these and you can change the actual downloads or the mods locations to a different location on your hard drive it shows different extensions which we can click on and install which is usually support for different languages or news about the recent game supports like starfield and then also down here we can click on tools click new and install things or set up custom configurations now on the left hand side we have a few buttons so downloads that's basically all the things we've downloaded or can download so from here these are tools and extensions so these are like extensions and updates i don't have most of these games installed so there's no point in me installing these then we have games so this is where we can select our games you can see the last game i actually used vortex for was actually vampire the masquerade bloodlines because i was installing an unofficial patch mod for it which i actually use vortex for now i'm going to explain this in a little moment because this is the main core feature of the tool we're gonna have to go over extensions that's basically custom extensions we can use you want to click find more and this is going to open up a directory where we can install extensions so let's just click on a random one the quarry
Quarry. This extension allows you to manage your downloaded mods in the Quarry directly through Vortex. So these are going to be what you need to download to actually add support for a certain game. Some of them are unofficial, but for the most part, they're just official. But games which aren't usually supported, like Back for Blood, for an example, people will actually post community extensions to let the software support it. So this is how you would do it. You would just search for a game that isn't supported, and then you would find it in this list. Knowledge Base is just a huge help bank. This is where you can search for any kind of things which aren't covered in this video and how you can get more help and things like the FAQ, view a few guides on getting started. Settings is where we configure everything again. So this is what I showed you a few moments ago. So interface, this is going to be language settings, customization of the GUI, booting up Vortex on the computer startup and disabling certain tabs and things in the software. The Vortex tab is just going to be configuring if it's a multi-user mode that we're running in or if we're running on stable or beta versions of the software. So if we want to view like new features, we might go a beta, but it'll be slightly more unstable. Downloads and mods, like we mentioned before, this is just where we can change the folder that they're stored in and downloaded to. The download threads, that's for premium users to actually download things much quicker. We can also limit the bandwidth. So if you don't want to use like certain amounts of your internet speed, you can also throttle it here. This handle here is just to support the direct download buttons on the Nexus Mod Manager website. You want to keep that enabled. Workarounds, themes. So if you don't like how it looks, you can install the themes right here or select themes, select default, select compact. There's a lot of things we can do here, right? And you can also press clone if you want to actually modify the theme itself because the default themes are locked unless you press clone to make a custom one. Now on the top right, there's some other options. You can see if you're a supporter, I've actually donated once to get the pro features on Nexus. I don't think I have them anymore because I only paid for like one month, but you can see I have the supporter badge. So let's go back to games again and go over this feature. And this is going to be all the games which are managed. Now, currently I've only managed one, which is Vampire the Masquerade. And from here, we can right click on it and we can click open. And there we can open up the game folders or the mod folders for that game. We can open up the Nexus page to download more mods. We can manually change the location and we can also click on stop managing. It also shows some useful stats about like the space we've used, the website for the original game and the installed version of the game and the platform we're running on. To manage a new game, you would literally just click manage. It's as simple as that. It'll show you all the games in the Nexus directory. All you have to do is just click search to search for a game. If we just type in Skyrim, we can actually search and we could just manage Skyrim. But for the most part, it should detect any games that you've got installed in your hard drive. But if it doesn't, that's how you do it. I'm going to click on Vampire the Masquerade because I've already used this profile before. And when you double click on it, that will go as your default managed profile. There's also the play button in the top left, which you can see that launch button to launch the game. Since I opened up the website, what I would do on Nexus Mods is find the right website, which I want to download things for. And we just scroll down and let's just say I want to download this overhauled first person hands model or one of these other models here. In fact, let's just filter them by the most popular mods of all time. And then let's go ahead. We can see any mods that says downloaded is what I've already downloaded and they're in my mod manager already or I've downloaded them before. I've not actually downloaded that many mods. I've downloaded like a hand retexture and I've downloaded like a simple quest mod. And it also says update available for this unofficial patch. So I could go ahead and update that. Let's just say I want to install this EMB. That should be quite small in file size. That's just like a basic graphic enhancement for the game. So I'd click on that and then I'd click instead of manual this time, I just click on download with Vortex. Now, if you have problems with the Vortex direct download, you can use the manual one. But first we'll click on slow download. It'll say download started. And in the bottom, it'll say downloading from Nexus. So I could click on that, open up Vortex under mods. It should now be under the mods list. It says never installed because we've not enabled it. On the drop down, we can just click on enabled. And now it'll say installing devolved EMB. It'll say deploying. And then now it says enabled. Okay. This notifications button at the top, you might want to click that to see notifications. You can click on some mods are redundant, press show. And it'll say some mods have been overwritten or they're redundant. And then you can click disable. I'm just going to leave this because I know that it already works even though this exe file I probably don't need. And now the mods are enabled and all I would do is click on launch. And before we close out this video, you could notice a few moments ago that one mod I downloaded, which was this unofficial patch, you saw that on the Nexus site, it said update available here. So because of that, you might want to right click on a mod and then click on check for update. And what this will do is it'll check to see if there's any updates. So it says check for mod updates complete. And now there's this little button here, which has this little orange button mod can be updated so we could just click the orange button and we can now go and update it through here so that's how you can actually check for an update but then you've got to manually go to the page and download it again so that's how to download and install the nexus mod manager and install mods for any game from nexusmods.com i showed you an example here
here, which is Vampire Bloodlines, but you might want to use this for Skyrim or any other supported games, and it works exactly the same, depending on the size of the mod you actually try to download. If it's a graphics mod, it'll take a lot longer. I just downloaded a quick patch to show you it in effect. You might have to wait a long time for the downloads. The premium version of Nexus mods is actually worth it because the downloads are super quick, and if you're using something like Wabberjack or some kind of other tool to download through the website, you are going to need that. But if you need any help with this video, do leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. Give the video a like and subscribe and I'll see you real soon.